What is that? Both albums. Well, there they are. There's oh, a story. Oh, well, if, you, if, you, if you've never listened to the Shags, do yourself a favor. And don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. The Shag, yeah, but the, you know, they, they probably all play their instruments to the same song. Yeah. The Shags yeah. don't. Yeah. The Shags. The Shags. One, Philosophy two, three, of the play. world. They don't even discuss what song they're playing. It's just one, two, three, Yeah, I, re- I remember reading an, an engineer who who was recording them at the time. The He was amazed because one of the, the sisters said, you know, stop recording. We, we messed it up. And he was like, how can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds good to me. Oh, Doc, you, please do me a favor. Just listen to the Shags' Philosophy of the World. Yeah, yeah. Don't bother with the second oh, album. Oh, God. The second album, they were, they were grown ups by then, and they could actually play a little bit. So it isn't nearly as fun. So, so, yeah, so, their so they, their, they their like father, them. I guess, had a vision that they were going to be popular mm-hmm. musicians. And he, he kind of dedicated his life to making sure that they went wow. into music. Kind of like Murray. Oh Wilson. my God! It, you've never heard anything like it in your life. I, I guarantee you. No, no. But I mean, but many, many people actually like them. I mean, Kurt Cobain. Oh yeah, huge Frank Zappa liked fan. them. Frank Zappa liked them. Cobain. Yeah, those are thing, I suppose. Kurt Cobain. Um, and and honestly, some of it isn't that terrible to listen to if if you like that type of thing. Yeah, no. But it's, it's it's just so very different. They were they were probably the first indie band. <laughs> oh yeah. They were the first lo-fi band, and they were the first emo band, definitely. <laughs> emo. What was that one song? My my pet. My uh, pet foot is their hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My pet, my pet foot foot. My pet foot foot. <laughs> Yeah, and oh. they put out a 45 called I Got Food Poisoning. No, there is no 45. Mm. There was no point. <laughs> no point? <laughs> None of this is good for the hit parade. We're not even going to put out a single. No, it's, it's, it's barely recognizable as music, but there's a certain <laughs> charm about yeah. it because yeah, of Absolutely, like absolutely. Their second album, they'd learned to play a little bit by then, so it, it's lost most of what the first album had because right. they're actually playing songs. <laughs> if, 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 I, I would say play it, but seven seconds of it, you're just not going to get the, the full impact, Doc, if you, if you were to play that now. I'm, I'm, it, I'm looking for it, something. It, 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 just look, look up the, the shags with two Gs. S H A G G S, my pal Foot Foot. Jags, um, philosophy of the world is is often called the worst album ever, but like Tim says, it, it does have its charm. What? <laughs> that was the Shags. Shags, my pal Foot Foot. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Imagine the whole album of that. <laughs> no. No. Oh. And I've oh. actually listened to it. Oh, I have who, too, several times. Who tunes yeah. those guitars? Like, well, let me like ask you them. this, Doc. What do, you like, do you like Kate Bush? No. Do you know Kate Bush? Yeah, but I... Okay. No, I'm not yeah. even because I love in order Kate Bush. To need your car guitar tunes. You actually have to be playing a chord, otherwise it doesn't matter. <laughs> it, it, it sounds like they t- took the guitars off the rack off of Toys R Us or something. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. again, th- their father had. The, I, th- I don't know if he had a vision or or some fortune teller told him that or something. Oh, I know what happened. I think a fortune teller told him something about. He was going, or his mother. He told the fortune teller told his mother that he was going to marry a redheaded woman and have three girls and then two boys or something like that, and that all came true. And the, and the fortune teller had also said that the girls were going to be grow, grow up to be musicians. 
So he figured, well, if everything else came true, that must come true also. And and he bought them guitars and a drum set. They had they, no lessons. They didn't know how to play. No, and, and the rumor used to be, I don't know how true it was, that, that they were kind of strict and didn't ever listen to, like, pop radio or anything. So I don't right. know if this is true, but the rumor was they didn't even know, like, they'd never heard of the Beatles or, you know, they didn't know any of this stuff. And they just went into the studio and made music that they thought was music. <laughs> that they thought was music. I'm telling you, it sounds like each instrument's playing a different song. Yeah. <laughs> And then, and then, and then, and then and the, the drummer just going bang, bang. You know, and I'm, I wonder if enough people have bought this that over the years, and if you put every edition that's ever been released together, if you could come up with a gold record for them. Poor Tim, I have to ask you, how much did you spend on the Shags? I don't know. Regular album price, probably about oh my. 20 bucks. Oh, did they ever so cute? This was probably about 15 when I bought it a long time. I remember I bought this uh, at, a, at a Tower Records. I couldn't believe they had it, and I bought it. What, what, what record label is it on? You, you can get them on it's eBay for about $100 now. This is on Rounder. Mm -hmm. oh. This is on Rounder. This is a legit... No, it's not. Oh, well, it is. Rounder Red Rooster. No. No, 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 no. No, that's, that's just hideous. Just hideous. No. No, it sounds like something that would have been like. A, a uh, high school talent show thing. Uh, I, just, I, just, yeah, I just looked it up, Tim. That album you have is that album you have is, is going for seventy dollars on eBay. Seventy. Yeah. The CD. Yeah. CD. Wow. Cool. <laughs> wow. You can yeah, make. It's, a I know it's very out of print, very rare. When I it was hard to get when it came out, and when I saw it, I'm like, because you yep. can't. The second album isn't in print anywhere. I don't think the second. This might be the only time the second album's ever been um, in print, besides its original printing in like '75 or whatever. You're better off to buy Perfect Family Notebook, or right. bullet paper, or whatever. Wow. I'm I'm sorry. I, I I can't jump up and down about the shags from what I've heard. So, no, no. <laughs> unless you're jumping up and down all on the album, yeah. Yes, like. <laughs> And I'd be using my foot to my foot foot. I'd be using my foot. <laughs> yeah. So not if you had an original one. I guarantee yeah. an original copy of the Shags, there probably aren't very many, goes for more than a grand. Oh yeah. Easy, I'm sure you're right. Easy. I'm probably sure you're a right. few grand for an oh. original copy of that album. No, I, I think Lee Bonnie just a fan is better than uh, the, the Shags thing. Yes. Not by much. Not by much. I'd rather listen to Tiny Tim than the Shags. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, think I don't know. Have you listened? Have you listened to a lot of Tiny Tim? Yeah. Not all tiptoe through the tulips. <laughs> like, why? Why are they singing so badly? They're singing as good as they can sing. That's right. Yeah, that's as good as they can sing, and that's badly. That's it. Yeah, and and, and I mean, the, they, they were they were genuine, you know, true to themselves. Yeah. Yeah. The other night on my stream, I played um, "Great Balls of Fire" by um, God, no, Mae West, oh, and I it was surprisingly see. good. I hadn't heard it in a long time. I was surprised at how good it was. <laughs> there, there it is. Ooh, it's on MGM. Fire by May. Yeah, okay. Oh, there yeah. it is. Oh, the Great Balls of Fire. Oh. Yeah, yeah. that's what it was. Oh, okay. Well, I, I got the wrong fire then. Yeah, it's surprisingly yeah. good though. <laughs> <laughs> you want balls of fire? No fire. 
any time. Get to tell this world that you're much too much. Whoops, that's too much. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. And uh, that's an early one. That's an early one. Yeah. Um, I'm ready to groove is the song that Raquel Welch sings. <laughs> <laughs> Penny the Pooh. Yeah, like, what the and hell is Penny the Pooh? Like, I like the song a lot. Yeah. <laughs> who, who does Penny the Pooh? Oh, Hello. Some sort of information sheet. Ooh. There you go. Wow. Yeah, we don't want to spring my <laughs> Who is that chick? Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, they're, they're showing that? they're showing way too much flesh. <laughs> too big, too big. <laughs> there you well, go. Wait, wait, wait! I wasn't done looking at that. <laughs> 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 I can't see myself buying that <laughs> for a couple hundred dollars too. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if, if, if that if there's any versions of that in print right at the moment. It goes seems to come and go pretty quickly. That album, right? It, it's so out of tune. It's so. Yeah, you know, like I'm, I know I it's, even, it's even worse than driving rain. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah, I, a little it, bit. About five percent worse than driving rain. <laughs> I once had a Snoopy guitar that was more in tune than whatever they're using. <laughs> And yet you keep playing it. You can't get enough. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It, it's, oh, it's like a, I, a car I keep, crash. I keep hoping no one look, but you can't better. help yourself. It's like, one more try. It's got to get better. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, God. Don't pin your hopes on that. Okay. Uh, sorry. I'm, I'm not going to become a Shags fan. I can't. Uh -oh. Oh, it's 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 such a funny listen, though. And and again, it goes for seventy dollars. Well, this CD does. Well, that does. Like I said, an original the first copy one, of the album will go for thousands. The first album goes, thousands. yeah, for about a thousand or more. Yeah, um, but this goes for so much. Like I said, I think because there's second albums on it too. Right. That. Oh, that has, it's a twofer. It's like a twofer. And I don't mm -hmm. think it's ever been anywhere else. I think this is the only place you can get the second album besides an original copy. Well, and they've done concerts, and they've actually recreated these songs. <laughs> so as bad as you think they might have been misplaying, they can actually play it again that way. Wow. That's incredible. I mean, that, just, that's talent. That just is. Go I, I go the yeah. they got to be pretty old now. <laughs> yeah, why, yeah. Why? When did that come out? When, when was uh, that? Sixty-nine, sixty something. 69, yeah. What? Oh, so they'd be like sixty something now? Ew. That That's would be our age. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We, we could have them on. Like, we present a a interview with the Shags. Yeah, why are we with the Shags, Lawrence? <laughs> A Shag's reunion concert. Yeah, we really did good songs like My Foot Foot. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, Tim, you must be especially proud that you have that in your collection. Yeah. Well, well I know I'll probably sell it eventually now that I know it's worth <laughs> it. <laughs> don't look at I have the vinyl. I don't like the second album, and I have the vinyl, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want to dance. <laughs> it's 
it's the musical musical equivalent of Turkish Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what the shag would sound like backwards. It probably sounds like Star Wars. Stairway to Heaven. Inspiring, inspiring. <laughs> no, I'm not liking it. I'm being appalled by it. <laughs> yeah, he likes it. He likes it. Yeah. Now, is, that, is that the one you're going to do backwards? It, it, no, that that's the uh, things I wonder. Yeah. Show me, play a little bit of the one you're going to play backwards. Oh. Hang on. That, that foot foot or whatever. Yeah, right? I got to find They have a song called It's Halloween, too, so you can play that next Ooh. month. That oh, next wow. I, I can get the one that has the lyrics on it. Cool. Wow. My pal foot foot. Yep, it's all you know. Oh, I wish I could find you. I look at it. 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 I and they do some covers. They do Yesterday Once More. That's got to be good. Ooh, and they do Give Me That Thing. But they do a song called Painful Memories. And I'm wondering if they just listened to their first album and then wrote <laughs> their second <that> song. <laughs> Painful Memories of recording our first album. Yeah. 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 Actually, oh, I think that was wow. written by the producer of the first album. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, 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 I want to hear yeah, this Well, just a little more subdued than their other stuff. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Yes. Well, it's, 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 uh, it, that, that one actually sounded like music a little bit. Well, yeah. that's what's wrong with the second album. It sounds like music a little yeah. bit, a little tiny. Yes, yeah, something in common yeah. with music. You, you hate to see that when they start to sound good. Yeah, you know, yeah, it, it, it was over then. <laughs> I, I don't know, Karen Carpenter's rolling in her grave, like, what the hell happened? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. See you next time. <laughs>